I consider it my duty to present to the court five telegrams originally received by the governor of Aleppo. These telegrams categorically and unequivocally prove that Talat personally gave the order to annihilate all of them, including the children. These are safer telegrams. They have been decoded, translated, and authenticated. This telegram, dated September 16, 1915, reads as follows. It has been previously communicated to you that the government has decided to destroy all Armenians. An end must be put to their existence. No regard must be paid to either age or sex. Those who oppose this order and decision cannot remain on the official staff of the empire. Signed, Minister of the Interior, Talat. I believe that the jury understands and feels that the accused had the unconditional belief that Talat was, in fact, the real author of those massacres. Your Honors, in the mind of the accused, Talat was defined as responsible. In fact, it is precisely wherein his motivation lay, making him guilty. It is absurd to assume that Talat was solely responsible. Based upon the testimonies that we have heard, Talat, as Minister of the Interior, was the real author of these crimes, and it is naive to think otherwise. All the evidence has been presented. All the testimonies of the witnesses have been heard. Summations by the prosecution and defense will now be heard. A crime has been committed. You, the jury, must decide whether the accused is guilty or not guilty. Your honors, gentlemen of the jury, I contend this was a premeditated crime. I demand a death sentence for the accused. Your honors, gentlemen of the jury, if we accept the barbaric destruction of innocent people anywhere in the world for whatever reason, then no one is to be held responsible. And it would be referred to as an unfortunate incident. Asia Minor's past has always been bloody. Does Dr. Koenig mean to infer that this being the case we, the rest of the world, should ignore these bloodbaths. Acts of this nature should be tried at international courts to prevent them from happening again. And that is why we are here today, in this very courtroom, gentlemen. If any of us had listened, it would not be necessary to be here today fighting for justice. Our law states that it must be proven that there were no external factors or compulsions motivating this crime. If there is any doubt in your mind, if you cannot prove that no such factors existed, then you must acquit the accused. Not only is the life of the accused at stake, but the honor of Germany. I categorically deny that Talat was a guest of Germany. I categorically deny that our government would welcome such a traitor coming under an assumed name. I would have said nothing of the political implications if the prosecutor had not made an issue out of it, if he had not said that in Berlin, Germany's greatest ally was assassinated. Talat and his colleagues were allies of the German and Prussian militarists, not the German people. 
of what strategic importance could there be in countless isolated villages inhabited by a handful of defenseless people. All this talk of strategic necessity is sheer nonsense. Who could have blamed William Tell if, instead of splitting the apple from his son's head, he had split the heart of the tyrant with his first bolt? Law and logic alone cannot explain the truth that the soul has its own understanding. Is it inconceivable that a thing may be morally right and yet legally wrong? The accused had done what he had because of a deep conviction that he was morally right. That was his only understanding is only reality. The Avenger. It was he who came forth representing humanity against inhumanity. For a thousand years, the youngest son of Armenia has stood behind this man, carrying the banner of truth, vengeance, and humanity. He leaped against the fiend who decided and ordered the extermination of an entire nation. And now, gentlemen of the jury, you decide what took place in his soul at the moment he committed his crime. You decide whether he was responsible and consider the eyes of humanity are upon you and your decision. And those eyes are the eyes of justice. Your honors, gentlemen of the jury, the defense rests its case You have been instructed in your duties. You will retire to the jury room. The court will await your decision. The court is recessed until the jury is ready to return its verdict. Chairman, are you ready with your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. As to further, the accused is guilty of having killed Talat Pasha. I, Otto Reinisch, Chairman of the jury, with honor and conscience, testify to the jury's decision. No, not guilty.